are from active participation in league football and the board has with extreme reluctance accepted his decision i would like at this stage to place on record the board's great appreciation of mr shankley's magnificent achievements over the period of his managership meanwhile mr shankley has agreed to give every assistance to the club for as long as necessary how do you feel about the news today? What, what's the news? The Shankly, Shankly's retired. Yes, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. is. What? How do you feel Shankly. about it? Yeah, it's news. I'm kidding you, though. He's not, I'm not kidding you. Shankly has actually retired today. He wants a rest. He's leaving. He's leaving well, Liverpool. He's, he's leaving he's Liverpool. Retired. The supporters will retire as well. Yeah. yeah. What? I'm, I'm deadly serious. Is he, has, he, he's, he wants a rest. He's getting out of the game. Yeah, I know, yeah. Is he sick? He must be he sick. Is. Is Shankly he's is. not no. sick. No, he says he, he says he gets very tired, the pressures are great, he wants a rest. Well, this is not oh, in the paper. Believe no, paper. No, no, he's oh, it's with announced at 12 o'clock. On the wireless? On the wireless at 12 o'clock. I've just been at a press conference where he announces where he was finishing. Is, is that true? Is that it's true. I, that I swear it's the truth. Honestly, I'm not joking, really. Uh, it happened to When did he retire? Today, he retired. He's finished today. Terrible, then. Um, don't know what I'm going to do. Bill Shank is retired. Is he? He's finished. It's it's a bit of a shock to me. How do you feel? Terrible. You haven't been yeah. on, have you? No, I'm not having one. I've just been, been to Anfield, honest. Who said? He said. He just announced it at the lunchtime today, and the board were with him. Bill Shankly. Bill Shankly is retired. What did, what did Shankly mean to you? Everything. Everything. And, uh, everyone's shocked. Everyone's shocked, mate. It's just like the middle of a season. We're still in four out of four competitions. We're absolutely flying. Yes, there's been injuries and yes, there's been a few problems, but we're, we're in peak, we're in pinnacle form, you know, with the, with the players coming through now. And um, to, to, to announce this halfway through the season, we've just beat uh, Fulham there and, you know, we're going into a final. It's like, what is going on? But So it's a big shake-up. And then you think, OK, where do we go next? Maybe Alonso, you know what I mean? He's doing well with Leverkusen. Purely because he's wore the red shirt and he understands the mentality. But then you're thinking, now you need someone to make maybe even more pedigree because, you know, to, 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 to come in to clop shoes with what he's built, it's a hard task, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's been eight years, nearly nine years at the club, so I tell you, it's, it, it's, everyone's scratching their heads a little bit. Um, Change the club from the ground up. I, 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 put, I put a status up on Facebook this morning, like saying he's given me some of the best nights of my life. That, that Barca game, that semi-final, you know, listen, you can talk about 2005 and some of the best nights. That Barca game was one of the best nights of my life. We were in, we were in a boozer down the road, the church, and I was looking for the Bible, mate, put it that way, because it was unbelievable. To, you know, that, that, that corner uh, and then Origi, that moment, I've watched it like a thousand times, do you know what I mean? And that was all through, through Klopp's mentality, his driven style of play. Just attacking gung ho. I can just replay that. That, that. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it now. So there's so many nights like that that we've had, games that we've that we've won, that we've overcome these uh, these tasks. It's just fantastic. It's all through his mentality. So listen, it's not as if we're walking away without these memories. But um, mate, it's a sad day. Yeah. It's hard to put into words. Shocked. Shocked is what everyone probably thinks as well. Yeah. Um, He's, he's not just a manager, he's, he's not just a manager, he's a man for the city as well. He just brings everything to the city, to the club. Yeah, shocked and devastated. Yeah, like everyone else. I mean, do you have... It's hard to just put it. He's, he's brought so much to the club. It's hard to just put into a sentence. He means everything to the club, everything to the fans, and like I say, to the city as well. I, th I think he's one of the rare managers that not all of them would admit it, but even some Everton fans respect, respect him because what he brings to the city as well. Yeah, he's, he's just like one of us, so, yeah. yeah. But whoever takes over, what I will say is he's probably got the hardest job in football to take over from Klopp and what he brings to Liverpool, but my, my personal favourite would be, uh, it's unlikely, it's not going to happen, he's at Chelsea, but I, I'm a fan of Pochettino, but shame that happened there, love, lo, lo, love him to have took him. I've seen, like, Simeone and a few other names getting thrown about, but... Alonso, Alonso obviously is a, a obvious one for what he's doing at Leverkusen. Um, yeah, I, I'll pro if he had a choice now and I had to pick one, I'd go Alonso, but it's hard to pick one at the minute, still can't get over like what's happened, yeah.
Um, well, massively surprised. I think all the Liverpool fans are surprised. Um, yeah, it feels like a member of the family's died, if I'm being totally honest. It feels, it feels that deep, that... Yeah, just surprised more than anything. Weeks and months ago. No, de definitely not over the last few weeks. I think last season, I think the season took its toll on Jürgen, to be honest. I think you could see he, was, he looked tired last season, but this season he's come back. He's looked fresh. His, um, his in-game play, I think, his in-game management has been brilliant. So the subs coming off the bench to change games, the amount of times we've come from behind to win games, he looks fresh, so that's the shock. I thought he's, he, he's revamped the midfield, he's changed the whole squad, bringing all the kids through. I just thought he'd have a couple more years, bring these kids on, but, yeah, very shocked, very shocked. Just try it, it's going to be a t it's going to be a tough ask whoever replaces him. But um, the, 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 Gerard is the one that some people, but because of his because of his stature here, but it, it, Gerard isn't the man for the job. It's Xavi Alonso's a, a one maybe caliber manager like like the Pep and the Arteta kind of mould. But whoever comes in is going to struggle to replicate what Klopp had. So they're going to need time. Hopefully, with the squad being young, players like Trent now will be key. Slob as I. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a tough ask whoever comes in. I don't really want to think that far, to be honest, mate. It, it, it's, that, it's that devastating. It's whoever comes in. It's like when Ferguson left, not comparing him to Ferguson, but when Ferguson left United, whoever come in, it's going to be a poison chalice for a start. So whoever comes in, the, the fans will have to get behind them. Be patient. Let's just see what we can win this season now, if anything.